for Incredible Miracle. He's Youngwa, using his name as his ID. He's 1-3 in, in Pro League all time. All three of his losses come from Protoss versus Protoss. Uh, his very first one came to dying to a cannon rush by Creative Prime. And things just got worse from there. Yeah. Uh, out of all the players, I don't have the stats in front of me, but this has got to be one of the worst uh, PvP matchups or uh, records out of any player in Pro League so far. And Yongwa, in a, in a position like this where he's up against a Protoss player like SOS, a guy who has had so much success, but in Pro League 2014, not so much. One in five, but he is. One of those wins was against Protoss, so he's even in Protoss. Yeah, his only win this season in Pro League was against Protoss. And uh, he wants to, to take that match again today. It's so important for his team. If he's able to just do this, take this one map, then they shut Incredible Miracle out of the playoffs. So let's find out what these players have planned. The map is going to be Yunsu, my favorite map, a two-player map. Anything could happen. Youngwa versus SOS here at the SK Telecom StarCraft II Pro League 2014. SK Telecom. Up here in the top right, in the red, the Protoss player for Incredible Miracle. This is Yonghua. His opponent to the bottom left in blue, SOS. One loss away from being the most losses this round, this season so far, individually. So that's on his shoulders as well right now. Yep. He's got to try to stay focused. We mentioned before that uh, Maru, if he, well, he will get a chance to play now that Squirtle has won. He will definitely get to play his game. If he wins that game, he will be the most winning player in all of Pro League so far, in 2014, I should say. And uh, if SOS loses this game, he will have the most losses out of any player with six. And that's not a place where you want to be. Yep. Don't forget, though, if Incredible Miracle takes a 3-0, Maru may not necessarily play, only if he plays in the deathmatch. Ah. Yes. So, just to make that like perfectly clear, because I expect that Maru will play in a death match. Like, it would be crazy <laughs> to not have him play. Yeah. But if he's not chosen, then uh, that would that would be the only situation in which what you just said was not 100% correct. Uh, but it would like to be. My mind was just all caught up in the Maru craze. The, the Maru, Maru hype. craze, man. The Maru he's hype. He's so good. I want an autograph. Well, you can get one. Anyone, I yeah, definitely can. You come down to the studio, buy this draft, so I'm sure it's a yes. Plays with no shoes in the booth, but that's not anything about his character. Don't judge. <laughs> I also sometimes take off my shoes when I play. I'm one of those guys that likes to sit on my feet. I don't know um, if no, that's I know what weird you mean. or not, but... No, that's not weird. Uh, sometimes my knees start to hurt, though, so I gotta, like, switch it off. I hope I don't have bad knees when I'm an old grandpa. Here. That sign says, please, if you're a, if you're a Samsung fan, feel for I am. <laughs> uh, the, uh, well, let's, let's see how this play, this game plays out. Just talking about shoes, normally I play with my shoes off as well, because in Korea, you don't normally wear your shoes in the house. But if you go to a PC box, you know, you're wearing your shoes in there. And then if it's winter, I usually don't take my shoes off because it's really cold. It's really cold. But if it's summer, definitely. Those are signatures for some players. I'm not sure exactly who. Yeah, it really looks very cool to see. Um, the reason those people were saying, if you're a Samsung fan, please cheer for I am, is because if Jenner Greenings wins at all, they take second place over Samsung. Yep. So. That's true. So uh, it will affect their, their standing going into the playoffs. And both Mothership cores are starting here. We, both, we have both players going for almost identical builds. Um, in fact, I would go as far as to say they are identical. It's just, you know, slight variations in timing. So you can see they're even adding their probe at the exact same moment. And uh, with two gateways coming out for both players, they'll both have the production to, to use, you know, to get additional stalkers out if they want to pressure. Looks like a Twilight Council will be dropped instead, on the other hand, for uh, Yongwa. And we'll have to wait and see what wants to be made here on the other side of things for SOS. He's already adding two stalkers, so we'll pressure with that a little bit. 
Well, <laughs> no shyness well, there. Just. Everything is. Well, just like you said. These two stalkers coming out here, being Corona boosted. SOS going to be going really aggressive here. This three stalker push with that mothership core. And by the way, I should clarify what I said before. Um, if Jin Air Grooming does actually win three to two, then it's going to be a tiebreaker first to determine who gets second. So, yeah. And Not an outright uh, Jin Air getting second there. This is really annoying for Youngwa right now. He didn't use his double production, and he doesn't have any sentries, and he loses a stalker, and this game is getting really intense really fast. Meanwhile, a counterattack here with this Mothership Core is doing some damage. He's going to lose a few of his probes, but with the Mothership Core not being at home, then he doesn't have the uh, time warp. The stalker is here without blink, not able to defend. Probes coming off the line, and he recalls the Mothership Core home. Doesn't have enough energy to actually go for... The overcharge? I don't think so. Not yet. What's it at? No, it definitely does not. It's no. selected right now. Not even close at 21 energy. It doesn't have enough. But if he can pick off this mother's core, that would be a good start into getting into this. But SOS with the warp gate research already has blink, six though. stalkers. Blink is done. He's gonna blink perfectly, and it looks like perfect might not be good enough. Even pylons being canceled here. The last stalker falls, and the dance here. It looks like Incredible Miracle is not going to the playoffs. Fighting to the nail here right now is Young while the probes do chase. He warps in the second stalker. Well, it's five to two right now. Now six to two. And that's it. Jin Air and SOS will secure that fourth place spot. And GG. Young Wa playing a bit too greedy. Gets punished. Jin Air advances to the playoffs. And we'll tie up the score for this match one to one. Yep, just like that, Youngwa losing that quick PvP, and he kills Incredible Miracle's chances at getting to the playoffs in just that one game. SOS takes his second win so far. He's not going to be our most losing player. He's going to be tied with Hydra still. SOS now also does not have to fear that he's the most losing player this season. He was able to avoid that. Um, and I guess he's now tied to Hydra. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Uh, and this is uh, a really important win for, for their team. They want us to get as many as they can. For I am, I'm really curious to see how they're going to play the rest of this match out now that they've lost because uh, they want to show good games for pride's sake. But uh, after a loss,